And we are back to give a virtual tour of the South Wing programs. But first we're gonna start with our service programs and that includes culinary arts. Here are our cafeteria lines. Students go to get their lunches. And this is the culinary arts program. This is our marketplace. This is where we would normally have a restaurant during times prior to and after COVID. This will be open back up to people in the community to eat. So this is the kitchen, the back of the house. Hello. Here's the refrigerators, teachers' offices, some of the equipment. This is after lunch, so it's all being cleaned down. This is where the students learn their baking lessons. These are some of the major ovens and other equipment, deep freeze, refrigerators, more cleaning, more cleaning. And here's the chef doing a lesson. And they even do dishes. And back out here again, prior to and after COVID, this is where the bakery sells cookies and pastries. And the students have articulation agreements to schools like Johnson and Wales, Massasoit, Culinary Institute of America. These are the cosmetology programs. So this is the adult cosmetology program. This is the high school cosmetology program, which just had a renovation this past summer. Students have a new, a new uh, salon here. Some color blocking that the students did. Here's the station where people would check in for their appointment. And this is Osborne. New floors, new setups, new booths for the students. They work on each other's hair, as you can tell. They work on clients' hair, but they do so much more than hair. They also do skin, makeup, nails. This is their classroom, supply room. Looks a little different than normal in here. people check in people this is our waiting area people from the community come here to get their hair done a lot of teachers get their hair done students and down to the south wing programs we have metal fabrication down here engineering and automotive technology Here's metal fabrication, where the students learn sheet metal and welding predominantly. There's some new equipment. These are some of their new machines that they have in metal fab. What are we working on? Nice. This is how they learn duct work and very important sheet metal fabrication. Can't wait, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, right. And we're working on a project over here now. Lots of large equipment and machinery that they learn on this year. These are their welding booths. The students are certified in the three different forms of welding and then they take their tests and hopefully they can pass. They generally do. They're down here practicing all the time. Lots of hard work. Lots of hard work.
And next door to Metal Fabrication is Engineering Technology and the Center for Manufacturing Excellence. So there are four teachers in here. Students get to choose different specialties. They work with architecture, they do machining, they do robotic, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. They usually work on projects, trying to make things better, improve things. The students are always working on different projects down here, depending on what part of the class they're in. They always have lots going on. Here is the advanced manufacturing room. Some major machinery down here. Back in the day, it used to be called machine shop. Now, the students program the machines that make the parts. There's Mr. McCall. Hello. <laughs> and back out. And we're down to Automotive Technology. In Auto Tech, students work on the computers in cars, they work on the engines, all the parts to keep you safe. All sorts of new technology. Certified ASE standards. A lot of students work on their own cars. I see some senior projects. Students work on teachers' cars. They work on cars in the community. They work on the Tri-County vehicles. They have all sorts of technology that they use. Students have articulation agreements with Mass Bay Community College. Sometimes they go to the diesel program at Massasoit. Some students go on for mechanical engineering. If they go into the military, they generally do really well on the ASVAB exam. And those are the programs in this wing. Thanks for joining us.